being overweight or morbid obesity contributes significantly to one's chances of becoming diabetic, in specific adult onset type 2 diabetes. Uh, also in relation to that is a significant risk factor for developing hypertension. Both diabetes and hypertension are significant risk factors in developing other problems associated with obesity, such as peripheral vascular disease and coronary artery disease. So we've talked uh, briefly about diabetes and hypertension, which are some of the more common. However, other things such as chronic reflux disease or heartburn, uh, chronic joint pain, sleep apnea, uh, these are also related to obesity. Uh, what's important to understand is that all of these are potentially reversible with long-term weight loss. Well, certainly morbid obesity has become more prevalent in our society. Some factors that contribute are certainly uh, genetics and family history. However, diet plays a major role and the easy access to fast foods these days has become a significant contributor to morbid obesity. Also, high caloric liquids, which are available at your local uh, food store, uh, have also become contributors. Uh, some of the high caloric liquids that are readily available uh, are regular colas, uh, sweetened teas, some of the power drinks that are available, Gatorades, uh, other energy drinks. Uh, also, uh, regular milk and juices that are drank on a regular basis can add to weight gain. Uh, another factor is going to be the change in normal. It's normal to have large portions at our restaurants and to have second helpings, uh, whereas 10, 20 years ago that wasn't necessarily the case. Some things people can do to control their weight or avoid excessive weight gain are first of all portion control with meals avoiding that second helping or not going to the buffet uh, on a regular basis. Another factor would be avoiding high caloric liquids. Choosing diet colas or unsweetened teas or even water with the meal as opposed to other things with the complex carbohydrates. Involvement in an exercise program on a routine basis is also very beneficial. If all of these fail or, having, or one is having problems with long-term weight loss, then bariatric surgery is certainly an option. If someone's interested in finding where they stand as far as uh, weight gain or obesity is concerned, they can calculate what's called their BMI or body mass index. That is a formula that takes their weight in kilograms divided by meters squared. You can find this calculation on the internet or computer. Uh, many phone apps have that or simply, uh, simply look it up on a chart. A normal BMI or body mass index is 25 or below. When we talk about morbid obesity, we're concerned about the BMI greater than 35. It's in that range that we're able to affect with surgery the greatest.